How's it going everybody? Today on the channel, as you can see from the title, the thumbnail, all of it, y'all already know what we're gonna do. We are gonna be painting some fishing lures. Alright, so we're gonna start off with this jerk bait that I previously had painted, and I'm not a big fan of how it turned out, so we're gonna do something a little bit different. So I have some of this yellow oh oh okri yellow okri and we're gonna do a color that has done really well for me in the past so we're gonna do we're gonna do a black back white belly and it's gonna be have a gold body So we're going to get this base coat of gold down. Alright. So we got the gold on there. And this like, this color has been very good for me for like pike. Um, and the next color, we're going to do the belly. Just because I think it will be easier to do a light, clean my airbrush, and then do a dark. So I'll do the belly first, because I just want this a little bit white. I'm going to hit it with this pearl white. I'm not sure how that's going to look, but I'm hopeful. We're going to hit the belly with this pearl white. I'm not sure how it's going to do. But we'll just give her a roll. So let her rip, tater chip. This has been a great color for me though. I've really liked it for um, bass and pikes. It works works really well from my experience. It might not be everybody's experience, but it's been mine. I'm liking it so far. A bit of a layer down. Oh man, that is looking good. That is looking good, in my opinion. You got that white belly. I always kind of go for a white belly for, uh, you know, bait fish style lures. I think it's just most, most fish have, you know, a lighter underbelly. So we're going to hit it with, I would hit it with the air dryer to dry it off. Um... And then I'm going to, I'm going to hit it with the air dryer to dry it off. And then we're going to come back up top with the black. So when I air dried this, so I over sprayed a little bit in some areas. But when I air dried this, I did it on the hottest one. So there's a learning curve here. See a lot of you know I haven't had this airbrush very long. And I haven't used it a ton. And I wanted to get these crank blanks to practice a little bit on painting lures and getting good at it. But I hit it with some really hot air <laughs> and the paint, you'd see there's like cracking. So honestly, that's good to know. That'd be, that's a cool effect that we can utilize. Um, and honestly, I don't care too much about that in my opinion. Um, you know, it's, it's just kind of an aesthetic thing. But, so far, so good. I'm going to clean the airbrush and hit it with that black on top. Alright, so we're going to hit that top now with some black. This is, let's start from the bottom and work my way up. It's like, not, oh gosh. 
Not too much. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. So, so far so good. I'm gonna start from the bottom now. Oh gosh. Okay, it's like a little uneven, like back here, compared to the other side. I'm right handed though, so I might have a tendency to like pull to the right a little bit. But let's see if we can fix it a little bit here. Let's get, now we're gonna get a little bit on the other side just to like bring it down a hair. So, I'm going to turn this off. Alright. So, we got that white, the gold, and the black. And the, I can't tell a ton with this lighting, but I didn't want the black to come down as much as it did. But honestly, it still <laughs> looks pretty good, and I feel like it's still going to catch fish. And then I wanted the face to be black, and I think I got a little more, yeah, I definitely got, like, this side a little darker, or, you know, a little more back than this side. But I, I still think, I still like it. I, I still think... It looks good. And then when I came up, then when I had the pearlized white, I came up on these gills a little bit. My like, gosh, but we'll let this dry. We'll pop an eyeball in it. And we'll be, we'll be good to go for that one. And we're going to go on to the next bit. We're just going to keep painting. All right, so a lot of the country is approaching springtime. So one color that's always a staple and, like, a lot of people will tell you this and you'll see it in YouTube videos is a red craw, a red and orange craw pattern. So I have this half ounce lipless crankbait and I got orange loaded up. Yeah, I'll show that. Got orange. And we're gonna do a orange and red crawfish color. Hopefully. We'll see if I can nail it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with orange and I want to go over it with red. I'm going to leave the belly mostly orange and then the back is going to be black and we're going to have some craw pattern coming down. And I do have a stencil for that that I made as well so we're going to try that out first. Oh my gosh, I kind of like it like this, I would have to do a goldfish one. I just, I can't. Not for this one, because we already have a plan. But I have to do like a goldfish color. Like, so I'm loving how this is looking. I should just get one of those painting stands where it has like the two little prongs and you can attach it to the hook hangers. That would probably make my life easier, but we're just using a pair of forceps for now. Alright, so that's what we have so far. I'm going to hit it with the hair dryer and then come back and do another layer of orange. Okay, so I hit that with the orange. And what, and kind of like my thought behind this is so. Like this, like I didn't put a primer layer down of like white um, because I feel, I felt that would make the orange like really like stand out. And so here, let me get a light. Oh gosh. So like this is like still somewhat like see-through, like translucent. 
and that's kind of what I wanted. Uh, a little, a little bit translucent because you can still like see the weights in there. Um, I don't know. I just thought that was like a cool little effect. But I'm gonna dry this. I'm gonna put that red layer down. All right, we're gonna hit this with some red. And I'm just have, I'm having fun with this. Like, this lure painting is another level. I follow guys on Instagram that like go hard and are just on another level. So this is a good learning experience for me. Okay, bam. Red, orange. You tell like a lot easier over on my end. Okay, so I went ahead and I made a cross stencil. So what I did is I traced this and then uh, made a little pattern, cut it out. So we're, we're gonna see how it's gonna work on this. So we gotta do we got to do uh, the craw black pattern. So we'll put our black in. And again, that props to like all the guys out there that um, film and paint because like this is so, this is really awkward. There's awkward angles and everything. Okay. All right, we're gonna see how well we can do here. Oh shit. It needs some work, but holy shit, that looks fucking cool. Oh man. Hey, okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna paint the back here. Paint the back. Holy crap. I wasn't expecting too much. Oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting too much. But that's looking really... That looks awesome. Not perfect. I gotta, I gotta figure that out a little more. But that looks epic. Oh man. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna dry this, and then I'm gonna go and uh, do the other side. All right, so there we got the one side, and then we got we got that first side that I did, and then I did this one off camera, but not. Perfect, but oh my gosh, I'm so happy with how that turned out. That is epic. Oh, that's so cool. My stencil needs a little bit of work. Uh, kind of has like some, a little wonkiness to it, but that is so cool. I'm going to be tying this on this spring, and we are going to 100% catch a fish on this. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video, which, spoiler alert, is going to be pretty fucking dope. See you next time.